Hi guys, Jennifer here. Welcome back to my channel. I'm here to share with you this sweet little book that I made. It's the uh, tea bag journal. And this is my design team project for Crafty Me Shop. So I did finally finish it. This was so fun to make and I really enjoyed it. And I put a lot of goodies in there. Look at, look at how thick that is. Now, if you remember <laughs> how thin this journal was when we started, let me just show you. <laughs> this is how it started out and this is how it ended up. <laughs> I just thought that was so cool to see them side by side. Yeah, I think it's beautiful and I had a lot of fun making it and I just would like to show you what I did here. So. The uh, front has this really pretty heart applique and I left the back open so I just glued around the sides here and I made it a little pocket and this little card goes in there. So I didn't want to glue down anything up here because then you wouldn't be able to use it as a pocket but you gotta be careful a little bit with the the uh, the tool. And then I used this pretty applique that came in the design team package. And then these beads are also from Esme. I used everything in here is Esme from Esme shop. So some of it is things that I've purchased, but I try to use a lot of things from the design team package, um, but a lot of the pearl dangles and some things, you know, I had purchased on my own. I just adore her stuff, so. And then I have this really pretty sari silk and it just went really well with the color palette. So uh, this lace was so pretty. I used it as the tie closure and um, not only is the heart a pocket, but you also have a pocket in the top as well. That's the tea bag. And then on each tea bag is a little charm. I mean, not charm, but bead dangle. And I hung it off of the ties of the tea bag. So in here, I have a little corner pocket and it has these pearl dangles which then blend in with the pearl dangle trim that's under here so I have this applique this lace under here that goes around and then this pretty pearl trim and then you have this dangle trim here and this dangle trim is actually on the other side so you have that, all those layers in there and it looks so pretty. And then I used the Gingham Garden paper collection from Crate Paper. And I just, you know, used some of the papers and the ephemera to uh, fill up the pockets. So there's a little pocket there and then this little corner tuck here, as well as the tea bag uh, pocket. And then over here, I layered lots of laces and then this applique, I'm sorry, this this lace up here is a pocket. And you can see that I have little, a few cut aparts in there. So um, if you didn't see how I did the base for this, I have another video, I'll leave that below so you can check it out and make one of your own. So all of the pockets at the top are open from the tea bags. And then here's another dangle. And then I use that pretty fabric, which is the dotted tool and some sari ribbon to make ruffle here. And then I added a couple layers of flowers, this pretty pearl dangle trim. And then I just put a little ticket here and it just kind of lays in there 
And then this one, I didn't put anything in, but you can put something in there because um, I have a little tuck right here. So I'll have to find a little something to add in here. And then it looks like I also forgot to put something in the tea bag part. My goodness. Um, here's another pretty, I use these beautiful pale nude beads along with some um, other beads. And I love that it kind of matches the sorry silk ribbon. So I put this gorgeous applique here in the middle and I made it like a little tuck spot here. And then I left this gorgeous white applique open as well. So you have this open and you can tuck in little goodies from the side. So isn't that so pretty? I did not sew this into the journal uh, signature just because um, I kind of wasn't sure how I wanted this laid out, but I like that I have the sides open and you can tuck little you can tuck a little letter in there or whatever. Put little pictures, notes. Uh, this one I think I put in here. And you have this little pocket here, which is the tea bag pocket with another little cut apart. And here's another pretty little dangle. And then over here, I use this pretty applique and I tucked in a little master board tag there. So you have that little tuck spot and then you also have the tea bag there. Here is a cute little doily. She had that in the sign team package and this little trim here I made into a ruffle again, just like over here. And then this is the tea bag pocket and you have a little journaling card. And this also I put in the, the tea bag pocket and then this little corner, like tuck or whatever, you can tuck something right in there. So there's lots of hiding places and you can find little secret treasures. So I put that in there. And then this goes like right like that. And you can see all the little dangles and stuff here. So pretty. It's a pretty dangle there too. And this is like the other page that had this pocket here. And then of course the tea bag pocket back there. And this last page here has a little lace pocket. Tuck one of those in. And I use lots of appliques throughout. And here's a tag in here and I used another piece of that applique to bring that page together. And then you have the back page. Now the back page, I left this open so you do have like a little belly band but it was just so full that it really doesn't need anything. I just added these cute little um, flowers there. And then the seam binding was just sari ribbon and I think that I would probably going to tie that again. I just did a tie like that and then I did another tie like this. Try to make it even and then I did one more tie to make it kind of look like a flower and 
you know, if you don't like all of that, you can always do just one bow and then cut the excess off if you want to. So yeah, that is my sweet little tea bag journal. I told you I'd make another one of these, you guys. The last one was so much fun. And I still have the base to make another one. So hopefully I'll be able to get to that at some point. But I have so many projects and I'm so behind on my design team stuff. So there you go, guys. I hope that you enjoyed this cute little journal. And the, you enjoyed the flip through. All right, guys. Thanks so much for stopping by. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.